Brad's Ruby, full of speed, coming out of the starting gate, and Brad's Ruby goes right to the lead. Union Prayer, though, picks it up now toward the outside. The challenge, Teppen, is away running in third. Homesick Angel, fourth. Ducasa is fifth between horses. Baby List goes sixth toward the outside. Slew City Pleasure moves up seventh down toward the rail. And then Ready Player One stacks up in the center of the racetrack, moves up a couple of spots from the back of the pack, seven lengths off the lead. Further back, a delusion toward the inside is trailing, but Brad's Ruby is the leader, and Brad's Ruby leads it between horses by just a length. Union Prayer, second toward the outside by a neck. Ducasa moves into contention, third toward the inside. 22 and four-fifths seconds the time for the opening quarter. Teppen stays toward the outside and fourth. Three lengths off the lead around the far turn. Homesick Angel is next toward the inside. Then Ready Player One. They come to the quarter pole. Brad's Ruby still the one to catch, leading Union Prayer by a length and a half. Ducasa looks toward the inside, still third. A gap of two more lengths back to Teppen in fourth. Ready Player One angles wide in fifth. Homesick Angel in behind horses in sixth. Brad's Ruby, Ducasa toward the inside. Ready Player One on the outside. Teppen is right there as well. And Teppen now strikes the lead, moving past the eighth pole. A delusion runs late down the center of the racetrack. It is Teppen in front by three. A delusion from far back is now second, but running out of time. Teppen, Miguel Mena, too much to handle here. Teppen takes it. A delusion came from far back to grab that second spot. Homesick Angel third. Ready Player One was fourth. And they're all in line. They're off. Perfect start. Teppen on the far outside and Munira out for the lead. And moving up between those two is Tempers Flare to show some early speed. Madikit Millie joins them from the rail. Then it's Yuzuru followed by Market Magic as they make their way into the first turn. After that comes Naughty Holiday. Night Song to the outside is next, and Marilor is last and down on the rail and racing eight lengths off of dueling leaders Tempers Flare and Manicat Millie. And these two will take him to the backstretch together with Tempers Flare, now the leader a half a length. Maddock at Millie, second by two. Munira follows in third after a 23-1 first quarter. Then Teppen, fourth on the outside. Just ahead of Market Magic, Yuzuru is down at the rail. Behind them is Naughty Holiday, who's got five lengths to make up. And then it's Marilor and Night Song on the outside. Up the back stretch, Tempers Flare and Corey Lannery continue to lead the way. Maddock at Millie, second, and right to their outside comes Munira in third. And then it's Teppen on the far outside. Market Magic is moving too. Down toward the inside, it's Yuzuru. Naughty Holiday, they're tightly packed here. And then comes Night Song and Marilor. 47 flat for the half around the far turn. And it is Teppen on the outside and Munira. These two now 1-2. Teppen by a neck. Munira second. Here comes Market Magic now on the far outside. Getting a wide run. Tempers Flare is fourth in behind them. And then it's Maddock at Millie. Naughty Holiday. And on the far outside comes Night Song. They're into the stretch. Teppen the leader. Teppen a length and a half. Market Magic on the outside. Second. Farther out. Naughty Holiday. Night Song on the far outside. But it's Teppen. Teppen has the lead close to home. Chased home by Market Magic. Teppen wins it by a length. Market Magic was second. And then came Night Song and Naughty Holiday. To the winner's circle is Teppen. A four-year-old bay filly by Bernstein out of life happened by... Ready for the start. They're off. Coffee click bobble just a bit coming out of the gate. A good start for Teppen. And Teppen takes the early lead. And made on a mission. Moves up alongside of her. And these two will set the pace. And then comes Kiss Moon running in third to the outside. Coffee click is up running in fourth now. And in between horses. Grant Dalmendorf a bit hard to control into that turn. Just inside of Sandiva. After that to the outside comes Katie Wine as they make their way around the turn. Lady Lara in behind horses with six lengths to make up. And then comes Strike Charmer. Followed by I'm Already Sexy to the inside personal diary and then comes Waterhole and Solid Appeal. So the field continues up the back stretch through a 24 seconds flat opening quarter mile and Teppen is the leader by a length and a half as they continue their journey up the back stretch. And Made on a Mission sits just off of her while Coffee Click is down toward the rail. Then Kiss Moon to the outside, Sandiva's fifth. She's five lengths off the lead, drafting in behind horses. Kitty Wines there on the outside. And right behind them comes Lady Lara. And Lady Lara 
Chara is only seven lengths off the lead at this stage. Strike Charmers alongside, and then I'm already sexy in Waterhole around the far turn. And here comes Mate on a Mission up alongside of Teppen. And Teppen cuts the corner and keeps the lead from Mate on a Mission. Coffee Click is down toward the inside. Kiss Moon and Sandiva trying to make a run. And they're into the final furlong, and Teppen's in front. Teppen trying to take him the distance here. Ahead of Coffee Click into the final 16th. It's been Teppen the whole way, and it's going to be Teppen to the wire. Teppen beats Coffee Click. Sandiva was third, and Lady Laura looked like she got up for fourth. Julia Leperu just stole a $300,000 grade two stakes race. Teppen wire to wire in the Churchill Distaff Turf Mile Stakes. Well, it's a surprise to me. It's a surprise to a lot of riders. And this filly had never taken a gate to wire. I think she was totally discounted on the lead, which I, I wouldn't blame him. I, I wouldn't have paid a lot, whole lot of attention to her as well. And, and she's never won. Uh, uh, she's won a grade three stake, but never a race like this. To total shock. It's very hard to do, too, to take a, a grass race wire to wire. Usually somebody challenges you early. Well, she's got to give her credit. Yeah. As, as I mentioned in the post parade, she outworked Danzig Moon this week. The Kentucky Derby contender in 58 flat in a workout at Churchill Downs. Before that, she went 46 and two fifths for a half mile in a workout at Churchill Downs, which was sensational. I told you Mark Cassie really liked her. He told me this morning she's the best she's ever been in her life. I asked her about I had about to step up in class. He said this may be just as the trainer, maybe being a little too close to the forest to see the trees, I think she can run with anybody, and I think she proved today she can. And, but the, 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 Jerry, they let Julian Lefbrook get away with murder out there in front by himself. Well, I mean, he, as a writer, you look at the form, and, and you look, and you say, well, she, this, that Philly never has taken a gate to wire. You know. Off in the long gene, just a game. Photo call started well from the far outside. Discreet Mark, though, is going to go up and grab the early lead. And going with her is Coffee Click. Discreet Mark and Coffee Click to set the pace. Teppen is third to the outside. Sandiva's tucked in and running in fourth along the rail. And then it's Philim B, followed by Ball Dancing and Photo Call on the far outside. Lady Lara's after that. And at the back of the field are Baffle Me and Jay Wonder. So they're running up the backstretch here, and Coffee Click pokes a neck in front of Discreet Mark through a 24 and four opening quarter mile. And Teppen is third just to the outside of them. Then comes Sandiva and Fulimbi. Alongside of them, Ball Dancing's only three and a half lengths off the lead. And then it's Lady Lara to the inside, followed by Baffle Me and Photo Call. And Jay Wonder is only five lengths behind as the field races past a half mile in 49 and two fifth seconds and races for the far turn. Discreet Mark. Mark. Coffee click on the outside. Teppen coming up to them three wide. A four wide run for Ball Dancing who's edging up near the lead. Then it's Fulimbi. Sandiva tries her luck at the fence. And then it's photo call to the outside as they come toward the top of the stretch. Jay Wonder, Baffle Me, and Lady Lara. They're into the stretch, and it is Discreet Mark in front. On the outside, Coffee Click, Teppen down the center of the course, Sandiva trying to squeeze through an opening on the inside. Falimbi comes on two, final furlong. Here comes Teppen, Teppen outside of Discreet Mark. These two come down to the line. Falimbi is finishing fast with Lady Lara, but it's Teppen close to home, and Teppen and Julian LaParu have won. And then it was Falimbi followed by Discreet Mark, and Lady Lara was fourth. They're off in the Diana. And it's Kitten's Queen who goes out to lead them. Teppen is away second. And then it's My Miss Sophia to the outside, followed by Hard Not to Like, fourth early on, and six lengths off the lead. It's Kitten Queen goes out there quickly. Lady Lara at the back of the field, along with Waltzing Matilda, and Stephanie's Kitten on the inside. Kitten's Queen up top. Kittens Queen leading the way early on here through a 23 and two opening quarter mile. The lead is almost two lengths over Teppen in second. My Miss Sophia third, and it's a big gap. It's seven lengths more back to Hard Not to Like. Lady Lara to the outside, followed by Waltzing Matilda. Stephanie's Kitten letting her stablemate set the pace here, and she's 15 lengths behind her up the back stretch. Kittens Queen up top. Through a 47 and one half mile, three quarters of a length to the good of My Miss Sophia in second. Teppen follows in third, still that chasm back to Hard Not to Like in fourth. 
And then it's Lady Lara waltzing Matilda. And Stephanie's Kitten continues to be 15 lengths behind as the field races for the far turn. Kitten's Queen a half a length on top. My Miss Sophia second. Three quarters went in 110 flat. So the pace is picked up here. Teppen is a length and a half off the lead. And it's still eight lengths more to the rest of the field. And they're into the stretch. Kitten's Queen. My Miss Sophia and Teppen come into the final furlong of the Diana. Six lengths ahead of Hard Not to Like, who's trying to close in late. It is Kitten's Queen. Teppen to the outside comes at her. And closing fast is Hard Not to Like on the far outside. They're coming down to the line of the Diana. And it will be a photo finish between Teppen, a hard charging, hard not to like, and Kitten's Queen was third, followed by Stephanie's Kitten. The final time was one minute 45.22 seconds. A new course record. They're off. And it's Kitten's Queen who comes out running well. Teppen on the inside is away in second, then Coffee Click in third, followed by Danza Cavallo in fourth. New Providence, and on the inside, My Miss Sophia comes on through into a tight spot there. My Miss Sophia is now just three lengths off the lead, moving for that turn. And then it's back another two lengths to Night Song. Desita to the inside, and last of them all is Solid Appeal. It is Kitten's Queen leading them on to the backstretch through a 23 and 3 first quarter. The lead is two lengths over Teppen second. And then it's Coffee Click third on the outside, followed by Mima Sophia. And Danza Cavallo is in fifth, racing in between horses and four and a half lengths off the lead. Another two and a half back to Night Song and New Providence. And then it's Desita and Solid Appeal is last behind Kitten's Queen, who continues up the backstretch on the lead through a 47 and one half mile. And Teppen is now a length behind in second. My Miss Sophia, third coffee click on the outside, fourth. Then it's Denza Cavallo, fifth. Four lengths to make up for her as they go into the far turn. And then Night Song and New Providence on the inside. Desita sent along and solid appeal around the far turn. It is Kitten's Queen. And Teppen is coming up to her on the outside. And Coffee Click is three wide. Behind the leaders comes My Miss Sophia. Night Song on the far outside. And they're into the stretch. And it's Teppen and Kitten's Queen. Kitten's Queen and Teppen. These two to the eighth pole. Coffee Click. Third to the outside. Then My Miss Sophia. Night Song. Desita closing late on the far outside with Teppen to catch. It's Teppen in front. Desita flying late. Teppen to Sita. Teppen to Sita. Oh, it's close. Desita or Teppen on the wire together. Then my Miss Sophia and Kittens Queen. Post. And they're off in the first lady stakes. Poor start for Outstanding, who broke in the air. There goes Teppen out for the lead. Crowley's Law has speed. Cara Marie is there in between horses. Solid appeal. Also up close to the early pace as the field heads for the first turn. Cara Marie from the outside up to take a narrow lead at the entry to the turn. And Teppen moves toward her outside in the second position. Crowley's Law is third back toward the inside. Solid appeal goes fourth. Easter fifth on her outside. Kiss Moon is sixth back toward the rail. Jealous Cat seventh toward the center of the court. My Miss Sophia between horses is in eighth. Sky Treasure is ninth. Outstanding is tenth against the rail. And the late running, she's not here, is last, but right there with the field. 24 and 1. The time for the opening quarter, midpoint of the back stretch. And Cara Marie is the leader. She leads it against the rail by a length and a half. Teppen goes second, three parts of a length. Crowley's Law, then Easter. Easter now moves up third on the outside at the entry to the far turn. My Miss Sophia goes fifth between horses, 48 and four fifth seconds for the first half mile. And here's Teppen. Teppen now to draw alongside of Cara Marie, who still leads it by three parts of a length. Easter is third up on the outside, still three lengths off the lead. Crowley's Law fourth back toward the inside. A gap of three more lengths to My Miss Sophia. Sky Treasure angles wide outside of Solid Appeal. Then outstanding between horses. She's not here, has a long way to come. Into the stretch, Teppen takes the lead now, coming to the eighth pole. And now Teppen hits another gear. Teppen is just opening up with every stride. A late run from My Miss Sophia. She goes from fifth to second, but well behind Teppen and Julianne Leperu when he said it was time to go it was over Teppen just toys with the field and the first lady impressive romp by Teppen was a long way back to Crowley's Law in second 
and then my Miss Sophia. They're off in the Breeders' Cup Mile. Obviously did not have a good start and will not go to the front, at least not yet. Teppen is out of the gate quicker. And there goes obviously now on the outside. And Tourist is away running in third position, saving ground this year into that first turn. Then comes Grand Arch, followed by Mishawish on the outside. And right in behind them is Impassable, who's in mid-pack early on. Then Make Believe, who's saving ground. Inside of Recepta as they make their way to the back stretch. And then it's time test. Followed by Mondelez on the inside of Esoteric and Caraconte is last after a first quarter mile that goes up in 23 and 3 fifth seconds. Well, obviously has made the lead now. Obviously out there now by a length and a half over Teppin up the back stretch. And Torrest is sitting in third position early on. Mashawish follows in fourth four lengths from the pace setter. And then Grand Arch on the inside. And they're being followed by Impassable. Make the lead down toward the rail. Time test is next. And the half is up in 48 seconds flat. So not a fast pace so far. Obviously, heads into the far turn in front by a length and a half. Teppin at a perfect stalking position, second on the outside. Torres is third and right in behind the leaders and traveling well. And then it's Mishawish, followed by Grand Arch and Impassable behind them. Make believe, bottled up behind horses. No place to go right now. They're into the stretch. Teppin takes on, obviously, Teppin to the front. Teppin is now the leader as they race into the final furlong of the mile. Grand Arch is starting to put it a bit too. And on the outside is Mishawish. Make believe, waving through traffic, but look at Teppin. Teppin. Oh, she was huge today. Mondelez runs on late for a second, but Teppin and Julia LaPeru have dominated the Breeders' Cup mile over Mondelez. And they're off and running for the 17th running of the Lamb Home Endeavor Stakes. Teppin, the heavy favorite, is away sharply toward the rail. Lovely Lori comes away in good order. Now moving up from between horses, Lady Laura, and the last horse away is Lexi Lou as they bend through the stretch for the first time. Lovely Lori takes command three parts of length, and Teppin finds her stride and now moves up in hand to be second. Lady Laura is there toward the rail third. Photo call goes to the turn in the two-path, racing along fourth. Baru Deschamps is now fifth, and Lexi Lou trails the compact field of six, five lengths from front to back as they circle the clubhouse turn and settle for their journey up the backstretch. Lovely Lori has the lead three parts of a length. Teppen stalking her from second. Then it's a length and a half farther back. Lady Laura races along third. To the outside of her, photo call remains fourth. She's about four lengths off the pace setter and a length and a half clear. A Baru Deschamps down along the inner rail and still nothing from Lexi Lou with a half mile still to run. Lovely Lori continues to show the way and Teppen on the outside still in hand and ready to pounce second. Lady Laura is there toward the rail third. Photo call and now Castellano gets busy asking her to pick it up fourth. Lexi Lou is on the move from the outside as they approach the quitter mile pole. Lovely Lori has the lead. Teppen is there second. Lexi Lou moves up on the outside. Now to challenge and photo call. Now they straighten away and they sprint to the wire. Teppen now strikes to the lead toward the rail. Lovely Lori. And there she goes. Teppen, the Breeders' Cup champion, makes her 2016 debut. A winning one. Sprinting home four lengths to the good. Lady Laura was second. Lovely Lori with a solid effort for third. Running time on the board, 142.91. They're off. And running in the one mile and one eighth, grade two, Hillsboro. Up on the outside, button down, breaks for the lead with Royal Jewelry, and down along the inner rail quickly goes Isabella Songs. Isabella Songs now moves up and takes command, and the last horse away, Rene de Bateria, as they bend through the stretch. For the first time, Isabella Songs is suddenly about seven or eight lengths in front. Lori Lori racing along second. Teppen, the champion race mare, draws alongside. Settles into the stride nicely in the two path. Racing along third. Speed seeker with a ground saving trip toward the rail now fourth. Baru Duchamp is right there from between horses now fifth. Danza Cavello on the outside sixth. Button Brown is now shuffled back to seventh. Then we go back to ball dancing eighth. The gap of three. Royal Jewelry racing along ninth. And Renea de Bateria is the trailer. And as they turn up the backstretch, I'll have to drop my binoculars to see how far she's in front. Isabel uh, sings it's your guess how many links it is off by herself Royal Lori is toward the rail second from the outside Teppen is alongside her racing along third then it's four links farther back Baru Deschamps is down along the inner rail now fourth 
as they swing around the far turn. Isabella Sings is still on a long lead, but now Teppen gets the wake-up call, and now... Moving up after the leader second. Lovely Lorie is there toward the rail third. But as they turn for home, Isabella Songs is still on a long, long lead. Up on the outside. Teppen is now set down for the drive. But the champion race mare has five lengths to make up. And she's gobbling up ground. Inside the final eighth of a mile, Isabella Sings. And here she comes. Teppen, she drops her head and is mowing him down. Teppen on the outside and she'll get up and remain the champion she is by three parts of a length. Isabella Song's in a very game effort for second, and the running time on the board, 146.26. And they're off in the cool more Jenny Wiley. Illuminant, Teppen, Recepta, all have early speed, and she's not here. Joins them up toward the outside. Illuminant from in between horses has the advantage. Teppen, she's not here. And then Recepta, who's back down toward the inside in fourth. Akatia will go fifth. Tiger rides sixth. The Sita in seventh. It's only acting, Dad, is eighth, and is joined by Wakila at the back, who's ninth and last for the move around the first turn. Illuminance gets over to the rail, leading She's Not Here by just ahead. Now those two going at it for the top spot on even terms. A gap of two and a half back to Teppen, who's one lane off the rail and third a half length. Receptive fourth toward her inside. Tiger ride, center of the course in fifth. Akatia sixth in between horses. Desita seventh back toward the inside, six lengths off the lead. Gap of four more to Aquila. It's only acting dad is at the back. 23 and one at the quarter, 46 and four fifth seconds for the opening half mile. And she's not here. It's the lead away from Illuminant by a length and a half. Teppen third up on the outside, challenging now for second. Tiger ride, far outside is in fourth. Akatia fifth between horses. Here's Teppen taking over the second position. Still two lengths off the leader. And she's not here at 61 to 1. Leading favored Teppen off the far turn with a quarter mile to come. And Julian Leperu gently coaxing Teppen toward the leader as they come toward the eighth pole. Then Illuminant. Followed by Tiger Ride. Wakila is running late from the outside. Teppen up through the gearbox now into the final furlong. Chased by Wakila, but six lengths between them. Nothing like turning the Keeneland Lawn into your personal playground. It is all Teppen to win the Coolmore, Jenny Wiley. Wakila with a big run to be second, Illuminant third, and Desita finished fourth. One minute, 40 and two fifth seconds. A new stakes record for the Coolmore Jenny Wiley. And uh, they're off. Uh, the Queen Anne Stakes, the traditional curtain raiser to Royal Ascot, underway with a field of 13, and Barchan towards the far side in the red cap leads up to Cody Bear, the grey mare Amazing Maria, Mondialiste, Essa Tariq in a dark blue jacket, Ovedia in the emerald green, Bellardo and Cougar Mountain in the striped cap round out the cluster towards the far side. The smaller group down the centre of the course led by Teppin in the white bridle, tracked by Endless Drama, Tormor with a white cap. And then towards the rear of the field, Ash in Irwin, who slipstreams Lightning Spear. Barchan, however, is getting loose on the lead. It's five or six lengths clear as they move down towards halfway. To Cody Bear and Teppin, who head the chase, followed by Amazing Maria. Endless Drama in a pink sleeve jacket is in mid-division, just ahead of Essa Tariq. Tormor waited with. Bellardo in the all-blue silks of Godolphin is under a very patient ride as they prepare to join the round course. And still, Barchan has this long lead, but he's ridden along to maintain it. To Cody Bear, there with a yellow cap being slipstreamed by Amazing Maria, Essa, Tariq, Bellardo and Cougar Mountain. Teppin is still leading the group down the centre of the course to Mondia Least and then Endless Drama. Behind these, Tourmore, then Lightning Spear. Avedia weighted with midfield Emerald Green Jacket. Ashin Irwin is under a ride as the whole field concertina is now entering the last quarter mile. Cody Bear is the first to commit as Parch and Weekends. Teppin and Bellardo have produced. Far side is Amazing Maria on down towards the last furlong. Lightning Spear, Tormor and Avedia behind these, but it's Teppin in front, being chased by Bellardo. These two dominate the finish of the Queen Anne. Teppin, Bellardo raising an effort near the line. Teppin pushed out though, wins for America and lands the Queen Anne. Bellardo is second, Lightning Spear third, Tormor. Arad. Stand by for the start. Teppin comes up. She moves to the outside gate. They're all in. Locked up. Racing in the Rico Woodbine Mile and Teppen won the break. 
She was the best into stride on the outside. Away sharply is Full Mast and Glenville Gardens going for the lead. Right behind them is a rod on the inside as Tep and now settles in fourth about two or three off the pace. They're a length and a half to Mudakayev. Passion for action the outside. Tara Texas second last. And the early trailer is Mr. Owen. That is the running order in the early stages. And they race inside the six furlongs with Glenville Gardens by a length. Full Masters second, lying third on the inside is a rod, and Teppen having a beautiful trail in fourth is a length away, and another length away coming up on the inside is Tower of Texas, and Mutakayev the outside tagging Teppen, two lengths away, passion for action as Mr. Owen comes up the rail. They race down towards the half mile and showing out in front, Glenville Gardens. They kick off in the lead here, Glenville Gardens, full mass second, third a rod. Teppen is traveling well on the outside and she's called on now by Julien Leparu to come after the top two. Right behind them is Tower of Texas and Mudakayev. A length and a half away, Mr. Owens in the clear and the trailer passion for action. They turn in the Rico Woodbine mile. Teppen comes up leisurely. Julien Leparu looks around, joins full mast. Down the outside, Mudakayev, the real running begins trying to get a run as a rod Teppen trying to get clear here fighting down the outside Mr. Owen is running on Teppen in front they have a full on to run and she has turned them away and she is going to make this her own personal playground Teppen Teppen going on to win the Rico Woodbine Mile Tower of Texas second Budakayev third and fourth was full mast One thirty four thirteen. Number eight, Teppen is first. Number one, Tower of Texas has run second. Third, number two, Mutakayev. And number five, Full Mast has run fourth. Eight, one, two, five. Opening quarter, 23 and one, a half, 46 and two. Three quarters, one, 10 and two. You were aboard for Seven, eight, one, 22, one, 34, I was just simply aboard. I mean, she's amazing. Uh. And they're off in the first lady. Teppen broke alertly, but Celestine a step quicker from the outside, and Celestine moves forward for the lead from Teppen with photo call there in third. A forwardly placed to the early going. In fact, photo call moves up to the outside of Celestine and takes the lead away, heading into the first turn. Photo call clear with the lead, gets to the rail, opens up by three lengths. Celestine second, a half length. Teppen alongside her is in third. Now or never goes forth between horses. She's not here, fifth against the rail. Mississippi Delta sixth on the outside of Cash Control, who's in seventh. Memoralia eighth, Onus in ninth, and Secret Someone tenth and last. 24 seconds the time for the opening quarter, and Photo Call bounds along on a five length lead at the midpoint of the back stretch. Celestine goes second, three parts of a length. Now or never moves up a closer third toward the inside, three parts of a length. Teppen is fourth on the outside. First half mile went in 47 and one fifth seconds. Then Cash Control, Mississippi Delta, Memoralia, Onus, and Secret Someone is last. And photo call midway on the far turn is absolutely by herself. The lead is out to eight lengths around the turn. Celestine second, Teppen is third. There's a quarter mile to go and photo call to catch. Photo call coming past the eighth pole. Teppen tries to get unwound on the outside to come after her, but they're into the final furlong of the first lady. Teppen running out of time. The eight race win streak is in danger. Photo call trying to get to the wire. Four length lead, three length lead. Photo call hit the Sormo. A front running victory upsetting Teppen in the first lady. 
the time, one minute, 35 and three-fifth seconds. And one of the long shots, Cougar Mountain, where Aiden and Donnick O'Brien take the outside stall. Here we go, they're all in line. They're off in the Breeders' Cup mile. And away to a good start as one of you goes out to the lead from that inside post, and there goes Midnight Storm up into second. Miss Temple City will sit third early on. Lobato is fourth, just ahead of Photo Call and Teppin, who are right together, and they're seven lengths off the lead. Torres is down on the inside. Eronicus is closer today. He's about eight lengths off the lead. Dutch Connection is next. Alice Springs saves all the ground, and then hit it a bomb. Ring Weekend, Cougar Mountain, and Spectre is last of all, 21 and four. Oh, they're winging onto the back stretch. Tyler Bays and one of you opening up a four and a half length lead. Midnight Storm is second. Miss Temple City's now guided to the outside. Then photo call in Lamato. Two lengths ahead of Tourist. And Teppin has been taken outside by Julian Leparu. And they're about 10 lengths off of this very hot pace. Ironicus is next, racing in between horses. And then it's Alice Springs on the inside after a blazing 44 and three half mile. What a view. Leads the way into the far turn, just setting this torrent pace. Two and a half lengths ahead of Midnight Storm. Miss Temple City is poised on the outside photo call. Call is next. Then comes Lamato, Tourist, and Teppen, who is still about five links off the lead, trying to win it again as they come to the top of the stretch. Midnight Storm has taken the lead on the outside. Miss Temple City, Tourist is down toward the rail. Lamato is next. Teppen's got to get going. Here's Tourist coming up the fence, and Teppen's coming on the far outside. Tourist, Teppen on the outside. They're coming down to the line. Tourist and Teppen. Tourist. Tourist has defeated Teppen in the Breeders' Cup mile. Eronicus came late, and then came Midnight Storm. Joel Rosario and Tourist, a 12-1 winner of the Breeders' Cup mile.